another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today, I'm gonna teach you how I did this. In Sony Vegas. I was walking with the ghost. The cloning effect is very similar to the flying effect, as in you need a very stable tripod and a non moving background. You can do a moving background, but just make sure you film it quickly. For the shot, I want three clones one on the bed, one on the floor, and one on this chair. So basically, I'm gonna have one long recording of me at each place. So I'm, pref I'm first gonna be on the floor, then I'm gonna move to the chair, then I'm gonna move to the bed. Like it's, I may stay on the floor for like 10 seconds. Yeah, so then in editing, we'll cut it up and yeah. And that's all. One thing that is very important is not to overlap with the clone shots. So I had one on this chair and one on this bed. So my feet, when I was on the bed, was right here, right here. So if I was on the chair, I took the ball and did this, over, my, over where my feet was, it ruined the whole effect. So when you're cloning, you wanna remember where your feet were or where your outermost body part was. And then you want, you want to build a wall. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. Wall. You're going to want to build a wall right here. And you cannot pass the wall. If you pass it, the effect is done. So basically, just stay in your own box, if you will. Yeah, and then editing is done perfectly. But then do the editing. Uh, hey guys, um, we're in the editing stage now. So this is the clip of me on the different air in different places for the clone. So now that we have our three clips of us in different places, on the floor, chair, and bed, now let's start the effect. So what you should do is bring this bar all the way, not all the way, just like up, up there. And what you want to do is right click the video track, like insert video track, do that two times. You should have as many video tracks as you shot like, I have three clips, so I have three video tracks. So, of course, that means you're gonna need three audio tracks. So now, let's just move one on top of each other. I, I personally, I like to um, move the clips from biggest to smallest, from smallest to biggest. So yeah. Guys, I'm gonna show you guys a visual representation of what we're gonna be doing right now. Imagine these three papers are the three shots you took. So, we had one on the floor. We had one on the bed. And we had one on the chair. So this black dot represents where I was in the shot. In editing, we're basically just cutting out only the part where I was in the shot. So we're only cutting out two parts, two clips of where we were. And in editing, we're combining all three shots to make it look like one big shot with three people, even though you only used one at a time. Okay, so now we wanna cut um, the clips. So basically go to the, this is very, very important. Go to the front of each clip when you do this. Go to the front. If you're right here, you know, it's not gonna work. So go to the very front of the clip beginning of the clip. Then you're gonna to go to Event, Pan, and Crop. Okay, basically we're gonna to go to Mask, click the check mark, okay? Get the, if you're not on this tool, get onto this tool. It's called the Anchor Creation Tool, or just press D, I think. So, basically, like we did in with the paper, we're gonna cut around the dot. So pretend I'm the dot, we need to cut around him. And also, Cut extra space just in case you move in the shot. Cause it's gonna look weird if you, yeah. And if you look closely, you can see a weird line right here. I mean, and it makes it look kind of fake. So we're gonna go to feather type, make it both, and make this either 10. You see it goes, went away. But if it still doesn't go away, go to make it 20. So yeah, 
That's what you would do with only two clones. You'll have to only cut one clip. But since we have another person in the chair, I'm gonna go to the front of the second clip, click event pan and crop. We're gonna do the same thing for this person. So we go to mask, check mark, and creation tool. Then again, cut around him. Boom. And boom. Yikes. Okay. Hopefully the feather can fix us. I think we have to do 20 for this. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. And we're basically done. And now let's watch our final product. And there you have it guys. That is how you do complete the cloning effect. If you like this tutorial, if you learned a lot, let me know in the comment section below. If you want more tutorials, let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you want more tutorials for Premiere for Adobe Premiere, let me know cuz I'm using Premiere now. So, yeah. Um stay clueless.